Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Job, Joker. Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. There's a second ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the radar paints and silhouette is gap. I guess we know why the science team stopped reporting in. What just happened? The Reaper's mass effect fields are still active. We just passed inside their envelope. Eye of the hurricane, huh?
evidence of active nanotechnology noted. Dr. Chundana believes they would have decayed over the last 37 million years. There's not enough data to support his claim. He asserts that the truth is patently obvious. I am concerned. Chundana has been staring at the samples for hours. He says he's listening to them. Normandy to shore party. What just happened? The Reaper put up kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. Trapped in a Reaper. I want to shoot someone. We'll have to take down the barrier generators from in here. Any idea where they are? At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex Mass Effect core, sending the coordinates now. Be advised, this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. If any helmsman can pull us off this thing before it reaches crush depth, it's you. We'll make a sweep for survivors and recover what data we can. Stand by. Aye, aye. Good hunting. Lots of dead people. Nothing new there. You're married? You, you never mentioned that. Katie had anger management issues. When my brother got married, the best man tried to hit on her. She kicked him down the church steps. But what? Katie's my wife. I, I must have told you this story. No, I know my wife. I remember that day was the only time I saw her wear stockings. Yeah, the, the kind with seams up the back. That's what I remember, too. What the hell is this? How can we remember the same thing? It sounds like the Reaper was affecting their minds. pressure tanks. We could blow them out. to make husks came from the Geth or Sovereign. This confirms it as Reaper tech. Hello, dead people. <laughs>
Identified shooter is wandering the site. Problematic. This should come in handy. Take it.
valuable.
No sweat. You bet.
to do now is destroy the Mass Effect 4, and then get off the ship quickly. Must be it. Where's the Cerberus team? Whoa! 
Watch where you're shooting. Discuss the unique piece of salvage we recovered. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact Geth would be invaluable to Cerberus's cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things I need in Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact Geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. I want to know why it has a piece of N7 armor strapped to its chest. Battle trophy, maybe? Would a machine care about that? No. Trophies imply emotions that AIs don't have. I doubt it's more than a convenient field repair. I've killed hundreds of these things, but I've never had a chance to talk to one. This one tried to communicate with us. Hell, it probably saved our lives. Why? Reactivating the Geth is a risk. If you do so, it should be for humanity's best interests, and not your curiosity. I still think our best interests involve an airlock. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up. Interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. So what about this Reaper IFM? I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. Linking it with the Normandy systems poses certain risks. I trust you, Edie. I know you won't let anything happen to the ship. Understood, Shepard. It may take several hours before the IFF is ready for shakedown. I will alert you as soon as it is ready. Sounds good. Until then, it's business as usual. Crew dismissed.
Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander. The IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take a shuttle to access your next location. Turn this thing back on. Be ready. Aya. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've fought a lot of Geth? We have never met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, Rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the old machines. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics asked the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. 
Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. So, you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. Well, that seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. We anticipate the exchange of data. Shepard Commander, we have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. So why did you need to go to the Reaper Corps? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics' logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics? Yes. Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? It is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software. Mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL convoys. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoin the network. You know where this thing is? The Heretics Headquarters Station on the edge of the Terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. They built stations in the Terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. What defenses should we expect? In space, none. Within, mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets. How many Geth? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. 
Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. I won't let them brainwash your race, especially not to worship Reapers. You have my word on that. We will begin preparations. Shepard Commander, are you prepared to attack the Heretic Stronghold? Can you give me a quick rundown of the situation? The Heretics have prepared a weapon that will rewrite. Over time, the virus will change us. Make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is... You know where this thing is? We will This could be our best chance to end the con... Commanders put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? I do. I suppose we should talk. I don't know what this is. If this is stress, or just blowing off steam, or... I care about you, Miranda. And I think you care about me. This is no time for emotional entanglement. You and I know more about the Collectors than anyone. We know how unlikely it is that we're coming back alive. What idiotic bunch of hormones thought that now was a great time for love? Who said anything about love? I'm just trying to get you into bed. <laughs> you ass. Come on, Miranda. You want this. Yeah, I do. So don't die. You promised me, damn it. I died once already. I don't plan to do it again. Give me some time. When I'm ready, I'll come by, okay? Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. So the collectors did take New Canton? Yes, but my wife and daughter left in the nick of time. They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. That's great news. It is, but I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. Shepard. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. 
The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of gray everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But your curiosity is quite welcome. You know about Knights Errant and Samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is... unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah. Uh, that time. Laser duck trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes. Fire into the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? 
not that day. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. The rest of us lose as much as you do when you hold yourself apart. I found it difficult to sit in the ship's mess for meals. I'm used to keeping my back against a wall, facing the doors. I'm trying to relax, find my center. Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with the... What are they? The, the things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few weeks for them? So what did you want? You know, I kind of thought connecting with your past would bring stability. <laughs> See, now we're having fun. Me remembering good deaths, and you with your... your funny human thing you're doing. My job is to hurt things. Direction, control... That's your job, Battlemaster. You're why I'm a soldier, not dead or crazed like an animal. Thank you, Shepard. You gave me purpose. Now, let's find something big to kill. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so? I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What did you do when you found out? What do you think? You must have met some good people, too. You've seen where I came from. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Not at all, and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. A space station. You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. You were a pirate, too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism at that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? 
There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. Thanks for asking. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bullshit! Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alari. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld and our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that though, except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a... Um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's just that their tradition also signifies a willingness for an um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? You have nothing to be embarrassed about, Tally. I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't... You never... Well, good. Anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. 
Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You're such a dog. <laughs>